Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. Sometimes we may prefer to record our demos even before the actual meeting in offline and play the recorded demo during the actual meeting. To support this kind of requirement, Webex is providing a Webex player, recorder and editor client. I hope you remember that we installed these clients during our Webex setup. Now I'm going to use those installed recorder and editor to record and edit a demo. Then I'm going to use Webex player to play the recorded video. In your start menu, click on Webex recorder and player, then click on Webex recorder. A Webex recorder window will be opened. Here just click on file open application, then double click on the application you want to share and give a file name to save your Webex recording and then click save. Now click on the record button to record your application. Now Webex is recording the application I selected. This is the pass button to pass the recording and this is a stop button to stop the recording. This is the insert marker button. It is used to insert a marker at a particular timestamp. This will be useful when you are playing back your recording. Just by clicking on the marker, you can jump to that particular timestamp where you inserted the marker. Next button is annotate button. By clicking this, you will enter into annotation mode and your recording will be hidden. Now you can annotate any part of the screen to explain your concept. Once you are done with highlighting your important stuffs, just double click this recording icon and you will get out of annotation mode and you will be seeing back your recorder window. But still your application will continue to record. You have just came out of annotation mode but your recorder is still recording your screen. To stop your recording, just click on stop button. Now you have recorded your demo in offline using Webex client. Let's see how you can edit this recorded video using Webex recording editor. Once again in startup menu, click on Webex recording editor. Here click on file open and then select the Webex file you want to edit. Here you can do a basic editing to your Webex recording. To make a segment to your video, just click on segment, define segment. Here give a name to your segment and your segment will be identified in timeline using this name. Then enter a begin and end timestamp in your segment and click OK. Notice that your new segment has been added to your timeline. By clicking on the segment, you will be directly jumping to that particular timestamp. Similarly, you can also add a marker. Just click segment, define marker. Here give a name for your marker to identify it in timeline. Then enter the timeline where you want to insert the marker and then click OK. That's it, you have added a marker. Both marker and segment will be very much useful in editing a long recording. Just by clicking over the marker, you will jump to that particular spot in timeline. It's like doing a bookmark in your book which has thousands of pages. By clicking edit insert, you can insert another recording into a current recording. All you have to do is just enter a timeline, then select the text recording that has to be inserted and then select OK. You can also replace audio alone in a particular timeline. Just click on edit dub audio, then enter a start and end timeline where you want to replace the audio, then select an audio source. It could be either an input from microphone or it could be a separate audio file. In that case, you should browse and select your audio. Finally, click OK to insert the audio. Now I have recorded and edited my recording. Now it's time to play it using my Webex player. Just double click on the recording, your Webex player will be opened and the recording will be played using the Webex player.